yo what is up guys by the end of this video you should be able to make your own african trap beats let's get into it starting off we start with the melody this is a simple piano that i laid out it's in f minor i layered the piano with a pad After that pad, I added this choir. Then if you listen to that first choir, it's an A ah choir. Then this is an E choir. After that, I went and did this brass. I also found this second brass just to make the melody a little bit dramatic and also fast. I felt like the melody was kind of empty, so I layered this pad as well. If you're making the beat for artists, don't overdo it. Now I'm pretty much done with the melody, so let's go to the drums. I started off with this kick. Remember to always pick a kick that's hard for your beats to hit hard. Then I layered that kick with this other way. Then I also did this space for when the air weight is off. I also played around with this snare and if you've been watching my videos, you know this is the snare that I use the most, Umpatran snare from my drum kit. After that, I layered these two high hats because I wanted them to sound a little bit thick. After that, I did another high hat just to play in the background. Then I did two instances of bongos. This is the first one, and this is the second one. After that, I'm pretty much done with the beat. I just had to arrange it, put in some effects and some drum fills. You can get all the drums that I used in this beat. The link is in the description. Did you know that Trinity just dropped a new drum kit? Let's talk more about that later. This next one is a melodic yet still dark African trap. I started off the melody with these throats. Here. 
here we're working in g minus k so as you can see here i played with the velocities by hitting alt r then it's gonna give you this then you just play with the velocities here and play with the penning and you can also play with the pitch but i don't advise this on your melody you can do this like on your hi-hats or your percussions or all of that but not on the melody because it's gonna change some of the keys and it's just gonna be off key after that i just copied and pasted the same chords on a pad Then I found this electric piano from Concert. It sounds clean. Then I found this marimba one shot. I layered it with another one. Together they sound like this. So this is the same melody as the previous one but at a higher octave. Then I went inside Nexus and I found this string. Then I found this brass inside Contact. I also found this violin inside concert. Crazy. After that, I went straight to the drums. I started off with this kick. I layered it with this snare. Then I also did this snare roll. Then I layered two more snares, this one and this one. And they sound like this. Yeah, I did a lot of bongos and congas and congos. Whatever the difference may be, they sound like this. Together with the kick and the snares, they sound like this. Then I layered this generic high hair. Then I decided to layer in more high heads to give it more energy. Together they sound like this. Then I went to the bass. I also did this plug bass at the intro of the beat. Then I found this bass from Purity. Then I found this other bass from Contact. Layered them together and they sound something like this. So at the different section of the beat, I don't play the basses, I play the 808. So the 808 goes like this. After that, I'm pretty much done with the beat. All I had to do was throw in some effects in there and some drum fills. That is the beat. Remember the drum kit that 
we were talking about yeah here's the preview link is in the description below this next beat is the type of beat that will get you in your feelings and a little bit sad or emotional in some kind of way so i started off with these chords and they're in e minor then after that i played these bells as the top liner melody I wanted to keep the melody simple and basic but I had to add in some more things. So the next thing I added was some boxes that I found inside my kids. So with the vocals, I had effects on them. I had Delay 3, OTT, and a Valhalla Vintage Reverb. After that, I went to the drums. Keep in mind that we're going for a simple feel, so the drums are also going to be simple. After the bass, I added a generic snare. Then I also added a generic hi-hat. We are keeping it simple, but I had to add another snare for bounce. Then I added this kick and made this pattern. But remember, when picking your kicks and your 808s, they have to hit hard. After that, I went to the 808. As you can see, the 808 is not that complicated. It has a slide here, but it's not that complicated. At this point, I'm done with the beat. I just had to add in some ambience from Mafio's drum kit. If you watched until this far, man, I admire your willingness to learn. And if you want to learn how I made this crazy beat for Nasty C, click the video on the screen right now.